I had a couple different specialties in uh, working with addictions. I currently serve as the concurrent disorders therapist at a couple local treatment centers. I've also pursued some additional training in EMDR and somatic work for helping to process traumas. And one of my passions is really working with men's mental health. Really seeing how a lot of men fall through the cracks on mental health, or maybe have the wrong perceptions of it, or just don't know how to ask for help and don't know how to handle situations where there's a tendency of leaning into logic and discounting the emotions. So really being able to find ways of looking at emotions as pieces of logic or pieces of the puzzle and kind of growing in that mental flexibility. A lot of people, they hit rock bottom and they say, I need help. Maybe I've lost my family, I've lost my job, I, I really need to, to turn for some support. But other people can be highly functioning alcoholics or highly functioning with different addictions. It could be video games, social media, it could be productivity at work, where you're investing so much of your energy into one thing, where maybe there is that kind of reward to it, saying I'm getting achievement at work, I'm getting higher salaries, but I'm not investing in any er other area of my life. And one of the big things that we look at when it comes to addictions is saying, how much is it consuming your life? Is it getting in the way of social situations? Is it getting in the way of family? Is it getting in the way of work either? So finding those ways of saying, how big of an impact is it having? Because a lot of times when it comes to addictions, you get really good at rationalizing. It's not that bad, I, I just do cocaine on the weekends. It's not that bad, I just drink when I'm with friends. But then you're looking at how much you're actually drinking and it can be very different from what people tell themselves. Nobody chooses to drink the amounts that people get to or do the drugs that they're doing. It's not an act of choice. It's saying, how do I survive? I'm going through chaos right now and this chaos is dark and maybe I don't have a support network or maybe I don't know how to get out of this. And alcohol or substances is that way out for some people. So a big part of addictions work is saying, how do we really get to the place of, of sobriety or get to the place of harm reduction while also being able to handle some of those things that cause you to drink in the first place?